Well, let me just, you know, talk about Sindel. Because I think Sindel, like overall, Sindel is a really good space heavy character. Uh, there's a lot of great things to Sindel as far as her, you know, her forward one. It's a high, but it becomes a mid, right? So let's, you know, let's add on uh, her frame data. And let's just go from here, right? So forward one is 11 frames. And it's got great space. It's, look at this, high but mid mid you see that and it's really good because you can break armor using this attack not only that so you have that being a, an 11 frame attack her forward four also is multiple hits and this is what that's three mids this is three mids so once again this breaks armor it's 17 startup frames but you can also tell it's plus 22 on hit right and then forward one is only plus one on hit so when you see forward one actually connect, realize that I'm only one frame in plus advantage, right? Uh, two four is really good. Two four, stand two is actually nine frames. Two four is nine and 17, but it's actually plus 12 on hit. Wait, sorry, plus 12 on hit, but on block is plus two. And then if you go for the full string, which is two four four, it does have a gap, but it's plus five on hit. But because of how the distance is pushed back, like that's really tight to jail. Because you gotta be like frame perfect. It could come out with this being 11 frames and this being plus five. You gotta be frame perfect because this can come out next at six frames. So you could say that is essentially what jails that's coming up next. Um, you know, she has really good projectile game. She has an instant air fireball which is actually a lot faster recovery wise I know it doesn't say it, but recovery wise it's a lot faster compared to if you do normal and then she obviously has her low fireball and you can also see this as plus five on block but that's not well I guess from a distance it is right so like right there plus six you go full screen you're at plus 15 plus 15 right but if you're up close you're minus seven, right? And this is exactly what I do with Sindel, is you can do a mind game of being minus seven off to forward one, right? Or you can do, mix them up and throw them off guard, throwing in the low fireball, and you're minus seven. Now, obviously, if you do this, this does come with a risk. You can actually do this, right? And um, you can actually, when you see the low fireball you can actually armor through it it's not real it's not guaranteed but it's a mind game right so you can do forward one be minus seven and if they try to counter poker if they try to like say oh i'm gonna take my turn back then they eat the flow fireball right and that on hit from that distance is actually plus nine but because of how like far it pushes them with the flow fireball you can see at this distance it actually resets neutral so now you once again you're controlling the space you're controlling the neutral which is exactly what Sindel does um she has a seven frame down one it's plus 12 on hits so you're able to just jail this into one one uh two four which is what i like to do i like to do down one to two four because this being plus well it says it right there but uh, that actually, once again, as we saw earlier, goes into being plus two. And, um, you can just, you know, do this and you can just hit confirm. It's a really simple hit confirm. Or if you're using Serena like me, you can just do this and you can get your combo. Really simple stuff with Sindel. Um, she obviously, like, has, like, other tools. Like, we'll take a look at some of these other tools. She has a low, but it's not really that good. It's 13 frames, but on block, it's actually deaf. Uh, it's minus 24. It's not too good. And I believe that the only cameo that can combo into this is Goro. So, like, unless you're really using Goro with Sindel, then there's really no point to really throw out the low. Um, it's 13 frames, but it, once again, it's def on hit. And the thing is about Sindel is she really only has one overhead, and it's actually that. And I didn't even know that. that that's actually nine frames? No. Wait. That's nine frames? I, I honestly were doing this, and I honestly did not know that. Because it says it right here. But once again, this frame data is, like, really wrong. 
It says right there, startup of 20, which I believe that. I don't... I don't know why it says that. Wait. Really interesting. Okay, I did not know that. Okay, now let's keep talking about some of the stuff that Sindel has, right? So you obviously can control space, like I said, with forward one, with forward four, or with down three. And you see at this range, right, down three is uh, 12 startup frames, but it's only plus nine on hit. So you're really, like, limited as far as can you really jail something into this? And the answer is really no, especially at this distance, right? Like, this is a one frame time of jailing. So one frame time right because you're plus 12 and then you go into forward one which is 11 frames so you only have one frame you got to be essentially frame perfect in order to jail this but it, depending on the distance depends on like let's say you do this right here you're plus nine right here right so it's still plus nine you can easily jail this into stand one one and obviously you can just do that so she has her one 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 she has her two four four which is plus five on block but she has a really good, strong, like, space-heavy uh, set. Sindel is, I'm going to be honest with everyone, Sindel is not entirely, like, the most exciting character. She does have really cool combos, but she has a really, like, lame playstyle to her, depending on how you want to play. Because of how, like, fast her recovery is after her instant uh, fireballs, makes her... Uh, Makes your projectile game really good, especially at a distance. And when you pair it with a Serena cameo, you're really annoying. You're really trying to make your opponent work into you. Now, I know what people are going to say. Like, Gamber, like, there are characters like Raiden or, like, Molina that have teleport. But it's the fact is, is that if, you know, you can definitely anticipate just by doing this type of spacing, movement, even a stance switch to throw them off guard. And if you go, if they go for a teleport then it's just a simple punish, you know? Like Raiden's teleport, if you see it, it's a f for forward one, frame one punish. It's just right away. Um, you know, Molina's teleport, once again, on blocks to punish, forward one. You can definitely get a lot of good punishes coming out from Sindel, but that's not really all I want to talk about as far as Sindel, right? I feel like Sindel has not only, like, good spacing tools, good range, good projectile game, like... That's just the basics. Now let's kind of dive in. Let's kind of talk about her combos, right? So obviously you can start off. You can do something basic, right? You can just do like two four, and then you can do like four four into cartwheel. You can just do something simple, or you can just do like forward one. Like she has like overall good damage, right? I feel like the thing about Sindel is, you know, she has good movement too. Well, if I can actually do this properly, she has good movement. She's good at cr uh, controlling space. She's really annoying to deal with. But she also has some really high execution combos that might take a little bit to kind of practice and learn. So let's actually try to uh, look at one of these right, real quick. See that? 430. But... Really interesting stuff that I love to point out with Sindel. So now let's continuously talk about Sindel and her damage and whatnot. And also her setup play that she really has, right? Because the thing about Sindel is she can actually, you know, just do something as simple as that, like 1-1, one, one, being plus 18 on hit. And this is what I was talking about. If you've watched my Sindel videos, then you can kind of see, like, the setup. I kind of go into stuff doing like this. You can do plus 18, and the reason why this is actually really scary is because plus 18 is guaranteed a shimmy with forward 1, a shimmy with forward 4, or you can just grab. It's the really mind game coming out from Sindel to be strike throw heavy. And the thing is, is she's not a 50-50 character. She's not going to just overwhelm you with like an overhead, a low. She's going to make you play her game depending on what character, once again, you are. But the fact that she has re-stands, and not only that, but let's actually go into the corner. Oops. Let's actually go into the corner. Because I'll actually re-stand. Whoops, and I actually only turned off frame data. Yeah. I'll re-stand sometimes with this, right? And be plus 22. So now the mind game is really essentially in effect, right? And this is what I was talking about as far as you doing this. 
Oops. Oh my god. Okay. You doing this right? Being plus 18? Because this is 9 frames at jails? So you're plus 18. Now you're plus 2. And you're trying to, in a way, anticipate them. You can go for the full string. Plus 2. Continue mind games, right? See how plus I am? You're so plus that your throw will whiff. It's really effective and really good tech. Obviously, like, if you're a person who doesn't like to go for this type of, like, where you restand them and then try to make them guess, then you could just essentially just cash out with damage, and I'll show you what you can do. She also has really good corner carry, too. So you can see that damage is almost 43%. But realize that we were mid-screen, right? And obviously, I know what I'm going to hear in the YouTube comments. Like, Gamer, that's a pretty advanced level combo. Can you show me something really simple? Yes, okay? So let's actually just start with something really simple with Sindel, right? Let's do a forward, wo forward one to scream. And we'll just do forward one into scream, back to three into part wheel, which is 24%, right? Now, if you're using Serena like me, you can do forward one into back R1, into two four back R1. Right, so that was forward one, back R1, two four, back R1, back two three, cartwheel. Something really simple, right? Or you continuously add on to the combo. And that does 38%. So what you do right there, forward one. Oops. Back R1. Two, four, back R1. Back two, three. Two, four in the stream. You got to dash forward a little bit. Back two, three into cartwheel, which is down, back fo uh, down forward four. Really effective stuff. Really good damage that she has, right? Now let's kind of really talk about some advanced stuff, right? As far as Sindel's floats, right? Because I feel like uh, people are wondering, like, hey, like, what's the way to properly do Sindel's float? So obviously, like, after Sindel's float, you want to do, like, back two into float, right? Which is back two into down back two. Now, it's a lot more plus, and it actually jails if you amplify it. And that actually jails. There's nothing. Your opponent can't up block it. Now this is only into jump one. If you do it into jump two. That does not jail. And you can kind of see why, right? Because it, you have to kind of like levitate towards them in order to get the jump two. However, when you do back two into down back two and you, into jump one, then it jails. See what I mean? See the distance? See the range? It's just going to go automatically into it. it. It's just really, and this honestly on block is plus nine, right? So now you're able to once again get that mind game of forward one, forward four, forward throw. Like they have to continuously guess on what you're doing. And this is the beauty of why I love playing Sindel, right? Because I can go for a combo like this. And that jails. So really effective stuff that you can do with Sindel. And I love it. So her most optimal way to actually cash out on damage is actually going to be her 2-4 string. So let's say you're actually, you block something and you get a punish. And you go into 2-4. It's her most optimal way, right? And, oh, there's another thing I wanted to mention as far as, like, her, uh, her float. Or her flight cancels, whatever you want to call them. You can actually do... 
And I know that's a lot, really, to kind of, like, anticipate or kind of do. But you can actually do back two. It's a down forward one amplified, which is her sh instant air fireball into levitate. And this actually does combo. See what I mean? Or you can just be really swaggy and just do something really simple like this. And you get 34%. Just a simple combo launcher. But after doing this in the corner, or not in, not in the corner, in the air. So the air combo is actually 114, right? You're, you're going to want to do 114, and you want to make sure that last hit comes out. Into that. So, repeat it one more time. So we'll do forward four. Wait, sorry. Four, four, three. One, one, three. Instant air fireball. A jump one. It's just uh, four, four scream into back two, three cartwheel. So it's a lot to kind of like process. It's a lot to like kind of manage, but when you get the hang of it, when you practice it, practice makes perfect you'll definitely realize it's not as hard as it really looks. Uh, but that's the pretty much basic knowledge to Sindel. She has great spacing tools. She has great mind games that she can do off of a restand. She has good shimmies. She can break armor with two moves. She has good strike throw. And I think overall, she's definitely a really strong character. But that is going to do it for the YouTube side. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions as far as Sindel, then please let me know. I'd be happy to answer any questions you guys have or even talk about matchups. Or if I even miss something in the video, then please just let me know in the comment section down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.